I'm telling you, you yell, do any of that when I get in, I'm, I'm, I'm dead ass. Don't, 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 no, no. Man, what you got an attitude about anyway? Why you do all that? We getting them under the nerves. It ain't me. Well, you ain't had to talk right then. <laughs> I didn't feel like talking. No matter, I'm, I'm trying to comfort you though. What kind of relationship is this? I mean, what? I kind of want to take something. You know what? Hold on. Let me let me drink some water. Let me drink some water. Let me drink some water. Ah. Woo! Today's topic. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna <laughs> we're going to look at a toxic relationship uh, uh, yeah so I think this is a uh, I don't even know how to say it, but this is just straight disrespectful and I want to say this as a man or as men we should never allow a woman to do or act like that because that's just that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. I don't know what kind of relationship that is, but that's... Oh, yeah. So, let's just get into it. Without further ado, let's see what we can learn from them. Are you okay? Brianna, are you okay? Can you stop talking to me? Stop talking to you? What you mean? I'm riding with you somewhere and you gonna act like that? Yeah, don't talk to me. Why are you slamming your door on your car like that? Because it's my car, is it yours? It ain't gotta be my All car right, for me then. to ask you that. Stop that was going on. Stop yeah. talking to you. Get my mind Yo, let me out, man. Get out, open the door. Open, let me out. Stop the car so I can get, get out. out. Ask me to ride and then you got an attitude with me. I ain't do nothing to you. Get out while it's rolling. You want to get out Stop the, the car so I can get out the car. Well, I got to pull over. You want to damn me pull, pull in front of the goddamn car? Let somebody? me out. I'm not saying act like that. Get your ass out. Get out. Have fun walking. Bye. I don't give a damn about Bye. none of that. Shit. That's what they got Bye. Uber for. Put your thumb up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so, uh, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what I would do in that. Okay, here's the thing, though. The first of all, um, you know, I'm going to start like this. Recently, there's a, a girl I texted, and I asked her about, uh, a book a book and the next thing that she texted me was hey Jim why didn't you even ask me how my day was and all um, how my week was and then da -da 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 -da. And I'm like okay I was just thinking of asking about that book I wasn't trying to have a conversation meaning and uh, with you in a sense uh, I mean, she's okay. She's a very interesting girl, and I kind of like talking to her. But at that moment, I was just thinking of the book and not asking, uh, not trying to have a conversation with her. Um, but then here is a man. He has a woman, or either his woman or wife, and he's asking her how her how she or if she's okay, and she gets offended. Don't talk to me. 
But then we went later on other ones saying, oh, you don't ever ask how I am. You don't care about if I'm doing okay or not. But then when we ask you how you're doing, this is how you respond to us. So are we supposed to ask you how you're doing or are we supposed to just assume not to talk to you? I, I mean, yeah, I... But, okay, so but that right here, that is a level of disrespect that I would never accept. Nope, never. Not in a million years, no. That, no. I cannot, I would not deal with that. I would call her out in her face. I will not deal with that. That's for sure. But, um, did he really, okay, so he, he asked, he asked to get out. Of the car and when he said that I actually genuinely believe that he didn't want to stay in the car anymore because us men we don't say things like that just so you can change no we don't we know women we don't try to manipulate people we we ask you to, to let us out of the car because we don't want to be in your presence anymore right now we don't we don't try to have you change, no, we won't care about you changing anymore because you're changing not because you would like to, but because you don't want us to leave the car. No, we don't do that. That's a woman thing too. Oh, I wanna do this just because they wanna see you change your attitude. No, we don't do that. So when they asked to leave the car, I'm like, Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. Now he actually got out of the car. Let's see how Things went down. Let's move on. Fucking call me back, neither. Weirdo. I mean, act like somebody don't don't pay them no attention when they mad about shit. Act like we don't never ask, see what they problems about. As soon as somebody ask them something, y'all got an attitude. About to be fucking canceled, fucking with me. Okay, here's the thing, though. That's exactly what I mentioned earlier um, about that that other girl that I was talking to the other day. Uh, I was like what two years ago, maybe or three years ago, um, where I didn't ask her how her week was and she got mad because I didn't ask her how her week was. And now here is that he's asking his girl how if she is okay and she gets mad. So I'm like, eh. Should I'm gonna stay me? So if one day I feel like asking you how your day was or your week was, I will ask you. But if I just need to ask you one question and then move on, because I, I wanted to remember something, I'm not gonna try to have a long conversation because my mind is I want to know about that specific thing and then get back to my business. I'm just saying that's how I am. I think most men are like are actually like that too, most men. But let's keep going. And actually you make a point. When we don't ask how you are doing to the, to the women, they start acting up, oh he doesn't care about me. He yeah, 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 yeah. and then when we ask them if they're okay, they get angry. And please don't tell me if you can see the woman uh, expression. I don't care that that baloney thing. No. No. Next time, I just won't ask you. I don't care. Let's keep going. I'm sick of the same old shit. Women always want to act like they want to be with a dude that... He don't care. He don't need. As soon as we show we care, they do all this bullshit. Oh, me. I blow now. Oh, did he flip it off? <laughs> did he flip it off? Okay, hold on, hold on. What kind of relationship is this? I mean, what?
I kind of want to take something. You know what? Hold on. Let me let me drink some water. Let me drink some water. Let me drink some water. Ooh. What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh man! Okay, that's okay now. I guess he's trying to be even, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I do feel your your anger, brother. Oh, not really, but I do feel your anger that you're not happy with what she just did, but... And I know that her behavior is unacceptable, and I would never accept it, but... I don't think doing that is really making things any better, you know, my friend? So, let's not get... Let's not react to their actions, so... So to speak. Let's move on. Let's move on. Can I get a ride? What? I'm not getting in no car with you acting like that. I'm sorry, come on. Nah, I'm about to Uber somebody else. Come on. Hope it's a chick that pull up too. Yeah, come on. Somebody gonna be understanding. What are you doing? <laughs> Why you over here doing this? No, I'm not getting in the car with you. What's wrong? You gonna tell me what's wrong? No. No. I'm not getting in no car with you. I said I'm sorry, now get the damn car. You still yelling. Please do not get in the car. Do not get in the car. Do not get in the car. I would not get in the car. No. I would not get in the car. If I can get an Uber, I would not get in the car. Because that, no. That I would oh Lord have mercy. You know, uh, let me actually say one thing though. I know one time, um, about 20 years ago, I did go to somebody's house. And um, apparently somebody told me, somebody I know told me that the person, because I spent the summer, like a month over there. And the person, apparently somebody told me that the person told her not to ever bring us over here in her house. And I didn't know that until I was about later in years, maybe like what, 13, 14, whatever. And um, when I heard that, I said I would never step foot in that person's house anymore. Ever step foot. The last time I I even saw her, um, which is what just happened, is during her funeral. You see, here's the thing: is I I don't when people tell me not to talk to me or don't talk to me, don't call me, don't don't do this or that. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure to. To fulfill what you ask. If you tell me not to come to your house anymore, you will never see my face there. You will never see my face there. If you tell me not to talk to you anymore, you will never see me either calling you or texting you ever. I mean, it, it, that's how life is. And even if I see you face to face, I will not want to talk to you either. And that right here, I would not get in the car. That's how life works. So that kind of relationship to me is already toxic. And uh, as the man, he should teach her a lesson. He should not get in the car. 
So please don't get in the car. But I have a feeling he might get in the car. If he does, I'm just gonna sit down for a bit. Come on. I'm straight. Come on. I'm cool. I'm telling you, you yell, do any of that when I get in, I'm, I'm, I'm dead ass. Don't, 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 no, no. Now what you got an attitude about anyway? Why you do all that? People getting on my damn nerves. It ain't me. Well, you ain't had to talk right then. <laughs> I didn't feel like talking. No matter. I'm I'm trying to comfort you though. How would you try to comfort me by saying asking you whoa, what's whoa, wrong with you? Whoa, whoa, that whoa, means whoa, cause something whoa, was wrong. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's annoying. So when what when, when us as men act like we don't care about you when you and have when those things. Do y'all tell us yeah. all the time? No. Yeah. No, you don't. You don't even share your emotion. Yeah. 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 I don't do all that extra stuff. You gotta be Mr. Tough Guy. What you call it then? I don't do all that extra stuff you whenever you ask me. What you call it? Call it what it is. What? Exactly. I tell you when something going when? on. When? I don't take it out on you. Let's just say that. That's a lie. This at the day I asked you what's wrong with you. You didn't tell me what's wrong with you. That's not taking it out on you. You kept saying, oh, my grandma. Man, you just my told grandma me not to talk to you. Me. You just told me not my to talk to you. My grandma told me. Okay. That was five minutes ago. Time. Uh, next time I'm not riding with you nowhere if you're gonna be acting like that. Okay. That's not my energy. That's not mine. Next time. Just wait for me to talk. <laughs> That's where y'all be messing up at thinking y'all run something. Don't be a bugaboo. A bugaboo? Because I asked what was wrong? Yeah, over and over and over. You tell me to get out the car, then you pull up to pick me back up. What's that for? I'm being nice. Yeah, you worried about something? I worried about if another chick gonna pull I ain't up. That's all you worried about. Only thing on your mind. Not at all. Why I'm be worried about another Sometimes chick? I said something about Why well, I'm be worried about another chick? Because if she, if it's easy to, for her to get you, she can have you. As soon as Period. I said something about Uber, now if you're going to If it's easy for her up. to get you, she can have you. It won't make... Oh, hold on. Let me, let, me, let me pause right here. Now, do you see why I said I would not get in the car? Because all that she'd been doing was making, like, talking down on him. Um, you know, um... Having a full beard and thick beard doesn't make you manly. That's just what it is. That already is, a, yeah. Um, that's why I said I would not get in the car because now you got in the car, what just happened? Yeah, she's basically mimicking him and trying to portray his voice. Oh, you go, wow, 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 wow. I'm like, what? No, 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 no. If you call this a normal relationship, then I don't want it. Then I don't want it. If a normal relationship has to have that kind of drama, okay, as men, we don't like drama. At least I don't. And I have one simple, one simple thing that I do. If I don't want to say something to you, and you ask me a question, I'm going to just say, don't worry about it. And I'm done. You, once I say, don't worry, don't worry about it, then whatever else you say will not mean anything to me. Here's the thing. Yes, he asked her if she's okay. She didn't respond. You see, the problem is, it's not that he asked her multiple times. Because I'm sure if he had asked her the first time and she said, I'm fine, 
and he kept asking because he doesn't believe her, then that will be on him. But when you ask a question and someone doesn't, does not answer, my answer is, I don't want to tell you, I'm going to tell you, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, don't worry. If you keep asking me, I'm still going to tell you, I said, don't worry about it, so don't. But that, and first off, you see, this is the thing. When I said, when I said I would not get in the car, this is exactly what, okay. So now we have black women now, and she's a black woman. And then they get pissed off when they see black men choosing other races. Well, that kind of baloney, uh, narcissistic attitude, why would we deal with you? Now, of course, I won't, I won't be that way. Most likely, if you ask any black man, most likely, they're going to tell you they would prefer a black woman. But preferring a black woman and choosing a black woman is two different things. Yes, we would prefer a black woman. But that kind of attitude? No. We would rather get another, another woman. Hispanic or Indian or white, Asian, even though it's eh. But yeah, especially in the US? Nah. Nah. <laughs> that, uh, that right here tells me why once you actually get to that level, there is a disrespect that should have never been existent. Or existing. That is straight out disrespectful to the man. And if and at least he says next time he would not, but even this time I would have not. Just to teach her the lesson that you acting like this, you're not gonna see my face. I will give you no attention, no validation. I won't care if you're okay or not. If you even get sick, I wouldn't even care about that either. Because when you show me that you acting like, hey, I'm a pest, in a sense, to you, for asking you how you are, then that shows me you don't care if I want the best of you or not. And I think he even said, I'm just trying to, what, to help you feel better? Yeah, wrong. You can't make that stuff up, black women. You can't make that stuff up. So when you see us black men choosing other races, don't get angry and all that because that right here gives us enough reasons to ditch you and get somebody better. Yeah, I just said better. Unless you prove to us that you are worth it, we're not going to go for you just the reason it's just the thing let's move on almost done to be mine that's how i see it and back in the day before uber was invented y'all kept going that's how i see it before uber was invented y'all let y'all nigga out and and would never right, even go back and pick him back up right. i'm just being honest i'm thinking the only reason why you came and picked me back up because i said i was gonna call her uber Well, stop acting all emotional and acting like when we try to tell y'all something, you got to be mean. I thought y'all want that from us. I thought y'all wanted us to care when y'all care about something. We don't want something. you to be nagging. We so, don't feel like talking with you. You ain't got to keep saying, whoa, 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 and acting like a kid. Damn, my kids got my nerve doing it. Okay, first of all, if he asked you what's wrong, why couldn't you open your mouth and say, you know what, I'm going to some, um, Either I'm, I'm okay or and don't worry about it. Why do you have to keep silence? I guess I'm not like that, maybe. I know last time I talked to her, the girl, and she got angry. I think she got angry. I did call her twice. And I'm like, you know what? It's okay. If she's angry, that's her problem. Just don't do my own thing. And 
Yeah, I'm like, okay. Sometimes we, we, we are trying to see what's going on and yeah. But other times when we see that you're angry, we're like, you know what? Fine. I'm just going to do my own thing. And sometimes the girls, they try to come back and we're like, no, we don't want to deal with you anymore. That happened. And apparently they have a kid in the car, which is not a good thing because that might teach the young kid was the toxic relationship between the mom and the and the oh, the two of them. And if it's a girl, I feel bad for her because she's gonna have a hard time with a man. Mommy, 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 mommy. And you, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I'm not your kids, though. Well, you act like one when yeah. you're doing all this. No, that ain't acting like one to make sure my wife or my girl is okay. Like, that's that's what us men do. Okay. We're supposed to want to know if you're okay, if you're mad. Especially when y'all drive. Y'all drive crazy already, as is. And when you're mad, you drive even faster. Now you gonna apologize for treating me like that? I apologize. Probably the fastest apology from a woman ever in life. Mm -hmm. And ever in life. No way. Ain't no way. I don't know how sincere that is. That don't seem real. Okay. Well, what you want me to do? Is that a, that's a real apology? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's growth. Mm -hmm. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Miss La Truth, and my husband, LA Truth. Make sure you guys are following us on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to my husband. I was going to follow you on Instagram or subscribe. No, please. Anyway, so. Um. Yeah. No. I wouldn't do that. That's, yeah. So, to all the men out there, let me know what you think. Would you get back in the car? Because I would not. Would you get back in the car? Or would you not? Anyways. This is Mario. Peace out.